Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Microsoft Whiteboard. Microsoft Whiteboard is pre-installed application in Windows 10. So all the Windows 10 users can use it easily. So let's begin how to use that. So when we click on this pen icon and then we'll click on Whiteboard. So after we do that, we will be landed on this page. So as you can see here, there are a couple of whiteboards already appearing here. These are the ones on which I have previously worked. And I can also go back to these whiteboards on which I have previously worked by simply clicking on that whiteboard. But for now, let's start from the scratch. So I'm going to click here, click create new whiteboard. <coughs> so after the new whiteboard is open, as you can see here, this is the main toolbar which is appearing here. And let's say I want to write some text using a uh, ink option. So I'll click on uh, this pen and there are a couple of pens available to us. So for instance, I want to write in black. So I'll pick this black pen and then I'll start writing whatever I want to write. And similarly, there are other pens available here. And let's say this is a Galaxy pen. So if I select this, then I'll be using a Galaxy ink, something like this, depending on your choice. And we can also change the color of the pen and the thickness of the pen. So we'll click here and then we can choose the color which we want. And we can also choose the thickness of the pen by selecting like this. And if we need to use a highlighter, we'll click on this highlighter. And then we can highlight that portion by using the highlighter. And if for instance, you would like to remove something or erase something. So then we'll click on this eraser. And then we'll place the eraser on the text which we want to remove. And now let's have a look at this ruler option. So when we click on this ruler option, so this ruler will appear and with the help of two fingers, we can place this ruler wherever we want this to be placed. So for example, I want to draw a horizontal line. So I have placed the ruler like this. Then I'm going to select the pen and then we'll just drag the pen like this and now let's say I want to draw a horizontal line as well so let's place the pen here a ruler here okay right so now again the pen is already selected so we'll just draw a straight line and if we click the ruler option again then the ruler will be disappear now let's come back again here on the tools bar option so similarly we can add an image so we'll click on this and then we'll click on here and then we have to locate the image which we want to add in the microsoft whiteboard so let's say this is the one which i want to add in the microsoft whiteboard and now it is placed so i can place this image wherever i want to and also i can also resize the image so let's say i want to place this image here for now and similarly we can add a note we can add a text and there are a couple of other options available so let's have a look how we can add a text so we'll click on this plus button here and then we'll click on text so let's say this is text. So we can also resize the text box and we can also change the color of this text. So for instance, I want to give it a red color. So I'll click on this one and the color will be changed. And then I can delete the text. I can copy the text text and I can also edit the text as well. So for example, if the text has been added using this option, 
if we click on this three dots as you can see here the immersive reader option is also available so if we click on immersive reader so now the immersive reader is going to read the text for us so if we click on play so the text will be played back to us but if we add the text using a pen option there is no immersive reader option available and similarly if we again go back we can add grid we can add list template any bing image camera we can also enable the camera and camera will take the image for us and we can also add the stickers so if we click on stickers so these are the stickers available so let's say i want to add this uh, globe here so this can be added and similarly we can also add pdf microsoft word file and presentation for some reason word and presentations are not showing here but let's have a look how we can add a pdf file so if we click on pdf then we have to choose the file which we would like to add here so let's say this is the one which i want to add so after selecting that file we'll click on open so now it's our discretion to uh, add all the pages or some selected pages let's say this is the page i want to add so i'll simply click on this page and then insert selected and similarly we can place the page wherever we want this to be placed on and we can also resize the page and as you can see here there is a lot of text here but the immersive reader option is not available if we click on these three dots the immersive reader option is not available yet the immersive reader is only functional for the text which is typed by us in a text box so that's it uh, for the toolbar for now so now let's go to the settings so when we go to setting menu there are a couple of options available for instance ink to shape ink to table object snapping export send to one note post to teams format background and so on so let's have a look at format background so when we click on format background we can change the color of the background and if we want to let's say put some grid background on the whiteboard we can also do that for instance this is the one which i want to apply so i'll simply click here or if i want to use this one then i'll simply click here and the background will be changed so if i want to clear the canvas so whatever work that you have done on the whiteboard it will all be removed if i click here and if i want to change the position of the toolbar location i can do that as well so if i click here on this option so i can place the toolbar on the left side or on the right side or at the bottom and if i am done with the work which has been done here i can export it to an image file which is png format and svg format and if i want to uh, post this work on the one note or post team so this is these are the options which we can choose for instance uh, let's have a look at this ink to shape option for example i have already enabled this option and i am drawing let's say i want to draw a rectangle so i'll click on this pen option i'll choose the pen so initially it was not straight line since it was you know drawn with the pen or with the mouse but since this option was enabled so it has transformed this into a perfectly straight lines and it looks like a perfect uh, rectangle at the moment and we can also add in some people here if for example you are working on a collaborative project and you want to add people so we'll click on there and these are all the people in my organization if i want to collaborate with any of these people so i'll just simply type in their name or select their uh, select their name and they can be added and 
simultaneously we can add on this whiteboard and similarly if we click on these three dots we can create a shareable link so if i click on this and i have to enable this option so i'll click here now the link has been created so if i copy this link and share with anybody they will be able to join on this microsoft whiteboard so thank you very much for your time i hope this tutorial has helped you to learn something new and you may practice at your own to further enhance your experience or your skill thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe com comment and share on my channel thank you very much